Hey G Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? Today's episode is this cool image right here and pretty what these are are some USB-C wall chargers. So the first one that we have right here is from the Apple brand. This one is from the Anchor brand and this from U Green. So obviously when you guys compare all three of them, the Apple charge is much bigger than the other two. And the reason why is because for the Anchor one and also the U Green option, it does have the built-in GAN technology that allows it to be much smaller and provide a lot more power as well. But when you see for the GAN one right here, it does provide you guys two USB-C option and one USB option. Where for the Anchor one and the Apple one only provide you guys USB-C option. So for this one, it's definitely much more convenient because it does provide a lot more output. If you guys want more compact size charger, then these are better options to go for. Like when you guys compare all three of them, the Anchor one is definitely the smallest one compared to all three. Whether if you guys look at it from this angle, or if you guys look from this angle, the Anchor one is definitely the smallest one out of all three. And for all three of them, it does have the photo plug that's actually very compact and very space saving, which is really nice. And in order for you guys to get that 140 watts or anything close to that, you guys need to use a compatible cable. If you guys use a regular cable that's not compatible with 140 watts, it will not give you guys that fast charging speed. So what I'm going to do right now is to plug in two different cables to show you guys the difference when you guys do use it. And for the first test, I'm plugging an anchor cable that supports 100 watts. And for this test, I do have this tester right here. And see how we do have it plugged into a power strip from the U Green brand right here. If you guys are interested in this one, feel free to check it out. There's two AC option and one two prong option and three USB-C option and one USB option if you guys are interested. But the max watts that's on here is 65 watts. But now let's plug it in to test it out to see when she works. So let's try this one first. If you guys plug it in, once you guys do plug it in, and we see there's some power inside already. But the other side, I'm plugging a cable. So let's do plug it in. And this side, I'll plug into the laptop. So the laptop that I do have right here is my MacBook Pro 16 inch. And the battery percentage right now is at 25%. So let's do plug it in. Even here, it does work. If you guys look at the power on here, it definitely gives you a lot of power. It goes up to 99 watts. So just like what they mentioned, it does support 100 watts for the cable, if you see. But doesn't go up to 140. Now let's unplug it and try the other one as well. So what I'm going to do is unplug it. And let's open up. And we'll plug in the bottom one because the bottom one supports 140 watts. And what I want to do is plug it in right here. If it's in here, it does work. And we have the power that's on here. It does probably have a lot of power as well. It goes up to 99 watts as well, if it's seen. But it doesn't go any more hard than that because of the cable that we're using. So now try the last one. Plug in right here and open up. If you guys do plug it in. If it's in here, it does work as well. And we have the power that's on here. This one also goes pretty high. It's maintained around like 97 watts, if you can see, but doesn't go up to like 100 watts because of the cable as well. So what I'm doing now is to unplug it and test it out using the new cable that supports 140 watts, which is right here. So this is the cable you guys get when you guys buy the MacBook Pro 16 inch. So what I'm doing is plug this in, plug it on the side, and plug this one. And other side, I'm plugging the charger. So I'll start with the Apple one first. And what I'm going to do is plug it in. If it's in here, it does work. And we have the power that's on here. It definitely goes pretty high, as you can see. So this one's going around like 137. So it definitely goes pretty high when we do use it. And it does get really close to 140, as you can see. How it went to like 136. And it literally just goes up and down, as you can see. And at that point right there, it went to 140. So this one definitely does work and it's really powerful, as you can see right here. Now let's unplug it and try the next one. So the next one, I'm plugging the U-Green one. Plug it on the bottom. If you guys do plug it in, if it's in here, it does work. And we have the power that's on here. It does probably have a lot of power. If you see how it does go to 140. So for this charger, it also works as well when you guys do use it. It does go to 140, you can see right here. So it's really powerful when you do use it. Now I'll try the last one. If you guys do plug it in. Other side, I'll plug it on right here. If it's in here, that works as well. And we do look at the number. It does go pretty high as well. So when you do look at the number using the angular one, it does go to 140 as well. But when it goes to 140, it does take a little bit longer than see. So so far after testing all three of them, it does seem like the Yugen one does provide a lot more power. Seeing how it does go to like 141 or 142. If you can see how it goes to like 140 and it drops back down. So for all three of these chargers, when you do use it, it does provide a lot of power and it does support up to 140 watts if you guys get the correct cable. So that's a great little test to show you guys the comparison between all three of these different options if you guys are interested in, between the Apple one, the Yukin one, or the Anchor one. All three of them does provide you guys 140 watt speed when you guys do use it. And some of them does give you guys a lot more output if you can see right here. So when it comes to the question of which one the better option to go for, 
Obviously, when you guys saw that quick load test, it does seem like the Yukin one is the best option to go for, since it does provide us a lot more power and it does give you a lot more output on here as well. Where for the Apple one is a little bit too big, and for the Anchor one, it does not give you guys a different output. So it's a very easy decision to let you guys know that the Yukin one is probably the best option to go for if you guys want more output and a lot of power when you guys do use it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one, I have one of these, that way don't buy one. And save your mind something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.